What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Miles World. And what we're going to be talking about today is the boss battle situation. All right. Now, I have Cam Newton, and a lot of you guys have been like, yo, bro, is he really that good? His stats don't look too good. He sucks. Look, you might be right about all that stuff. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that, bro, the guy is perfect, but he fits what I want right now. And that 81 throw deep, it, it, it's, I don't know how to explain. It's probably a lie because he doesn't, he's, let me just put it like this. He sometimes overthrows the ball, but I know how to throw with him now. I don't know if that makes sense. You see what I'm saying? Like Tom Brady, let, let me just go through some things. Like this guy right here, right? Earlier, earlier on in the year, Tom Brady was like an outright goon. And I figured out that 88 throw power was the meta at one point. But what happened is, I don't know what kind of live update they did or what was going on. Why do I have this Warren Moon still here? I should actually be selling this guy. What, what's this guy doing here? Yo, bro, I'll be opening so many packs, like over the last, um, you know, with the uh, the Randy Moss thing. I opened up so many packs. Sometimes I forget that I have extra cards and they just sit there. I don't know what that's about. But anyway, let's continue to talk about the boss battle situation. The other boss battles that are eligible that are higher than his overall that I, if I trade him into the set um, are Donta Hightower, Linval Joseph, Jordy Nelson, and Jason Peters. Now, those names are not really exciting to me. Um, I'm going to go to the set in a second and show you what's going on with the whole situation. But I don't think that any of you guys that have Cam Newton should get rid of him just because. And the reasoning behind that, it's like, he's if he's playing well for you, and let me just explain something. A lot of the guys that are running around right now, they're running a lot of SAG, SAG D, right? So they're not really sending anybody, and they're getting instant block shed pressure. And they have like a spy. You can't sit there like, you know, like a, a sitting duck and let things happen to you. You're going to need somebody with some legs on you, uh, legs on them, all right? So the, the, pro, the, the bottom line is you could run around with Mariota. Like, Mariota's not bad because I actually, I was actually running around with him for a little bit. I didn't bring him into a live game and play with him, but I was doing some kind of, you know, um, some of the solo grind, throwing a ball with him, just feeling out some of the stuff. He's not that bad. Uh, but this Cam Newton, let me just show you what I'm talking about. Because people have been asking about the specific boss battles, right? So look, you can choose Cam Newton as a 94 overall when you get to that point. And it's for, they give you four cards, right? And the four cards are going to be, um, for the 94 overall, you get Olivia, what is it? Is it, um, it's, it's Rodney Hudson, Cam Newton, Marcus Peters, and Olivia Vernon, right? When you do this right here, okay, the only issue is I have a Cam Newton you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to turn Cam Newton in to get it to, to get it to that point. Like, right here, he's the 94 overall I would have to put into this set to get a 96. But, like, I just explained to you, the 96 overalls, I, I don't know. Like, I don't care about Donta Hightower. I don't care about Linval Joseph. I don't care about Jordy Nelson. And I don't care about Jason Peters. So, it, it it's kind of weird if you're going to put him in the set. I would not put Cam Newton in that set. Um, if you continue to do the boss battles... You're gonna have to make a decision. Like um, they, they're gonna be giving you out. Like you see, like right here, one of the cards that are here also that I just actually got is this dude Martavis Bryant. Now I haven't decided what I want to do with Martavis Bryant because he his stats look glitchy. Let me just show you. I haven't even put him in my lineup yet, but I was I was trying to evaluate whether I wanted to do it or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, do I want to put this guy in an actual set or do I want to utilize him for you know his his skill his skill level because he. I, I can't really explain, but a lot of the cards that you get in this game, you shouldn't really go just based on what the card says with their stats, because most of the time it doesn't make any sense. So when you look at his card, right, he's probably going to be a lot better than a lot of the other receivers that I have. Like he's at 93 speed. What's his Excel, right? Acceleration 94. Now look, let's compare him, right, to... Okay, this guy, okay, he's a 93 right there. I wish he had toughness. I gave him a 94 because I got Chad Johnson up to a 95 uh, with that situation. But look over here, right? I understand that Michael Irvin has better catch. He has a lot of better things, right? But you see that 93 speed and you see the acceleration right here. That, accelera th that two-point speed difference and that one-point acceleration difference is huge when it comes time to, like, you know, just throw the ball with a bullet pass. Because Michael Irvin is a glitch, but for some reason, sometimes he just doesn't get the job done. The only reason that he's actively still there in the lineup is because he has that playmaker. And as I told you guys before, when you start using the playmaker, 
the playmaker just makes the guys react a lot faster and they run the way that you direct the analog stick. Does it happen 100% of the time? No, it does not. Because what happens to me is I'll, I'll playmaker a guy straight up and he'll just go hide behind the defender. And then what happens is the pressure starts coming. You throw the ball. It's an interception. I've showed you guys in numerous gameplays. But the point that I'm making about Martavis Bryant, he could turn out to be something like Cam Newton. You see what I'm saying? He could turn out to be something like that. That's what the issue is, but I haven't actually put him in the game yet. But if you look at that, look, he, his pass block, his run block, all right? I don't know what is, what is his impact block. Because to be honest with you, like, I'm about to, this dude right here, Michael Irvin, bro, like, I don't, I don't know what he's up to, but the guy's been kind of garbage. So now that I'm actually going over this, um, I'm going to try him out. I'm going to put him in the lineup. I'm going to see what he can do in a game. Let's just put him in as a, like a backup or something and see what he can do within the game. Um, and then we're going to go from there because I have to keep uh, Larry Fitzgerald in the game because of the toughness situation. So he's going to be there. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put Martavis Bryant in the game and I'm going to try him out. But if you guys are trying to figure out what you should be doing, I'm telling you right now, when you look at Cam Newton's stats, it looks like he's trash. And you know, I'm the first person to tell you that somebody is hot trash. But there's a reason why I'm telling you guys right now that I wouldn't go that far with Cam. I wouldn't just say he's outright garbage because he does make a lot of the plays. Does he throw the ball directly to the defender? He absolutely does. And um, so, like, especially when he's on a run, because when you look at that throw on the run with the 94, you think like, yeah, bro, he's on the run. If he throws it, it's more likely he's going to make the play. Those he's been throwing directly, directly to safeties and cornerbacks. Let me just be very, very honest about that. But I don't usually throw on the run a lot. The one thing that you will appreciate is they gave him decent trucking. Where, where is it? Where is this trucking at? Because other than Dante Culpepper, he has an 84. So other than Dante Culpepper, this guy, he's a quarterback. And he's actually getting the animations like other running backs that have the trucking animate. You know, the, those little trucking dudes. So that's what I'm trying to explain to you. And not only that, when, you, when you're trying to make a play, right? The way that Cam Newton will break tackles, he has been fumbling the ball for some reason. And I, I, I don't even, I can't really justify why people fumble the ball and why they don't. All I can tell you is that he's going to more than likely make a lot more plays than someone else. Like, I'm going to show you an example right now with, uh, with Adrian Peterson, right? When you look at, where's his trucking? He has a 94 trucking. Cam Newton gets the similar animations that he gets when he goes heads, he goes head up. Now, if you guys are not aware, I've been telling you guys, if you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. But because of the most recent update, the trucking guys are OP. And I forgot to actually put Adrian Peterson back in the lineup because of that situation. And you can see he has a 90 speed or whatever like that because of the chem with the solos. Um, they upgrade him. But it's not even about his speed. When you're one-on-one, -on -one, right, with anybody in the game, for some reason, EA Sports thinks it's okay for you to truck somebody's lights out. So that's why he's there. And I forgot to put him back in the actual lineup. Um, but when you look at the, when you look at the boss battle players, I'm gonna test out Martavis Bryant, Cam Newton. If you're looking for like old linemen and you guys like the Hudson, a lot of you guys said that he added something to your team that you wanted. That's fine. I'm just letting you guys be well aware that it's not a situation where you should give up Cam Newton. You know that that's pretty much where I am with it right now. And then before I let you guys go, I'm gonna give you guys an update. Uh, how close we are to Ultimate Master. We have eight more things left. We have to do, what is that, 36 more solos. We got to win 41 more online games. And keep in mind, they've updated Mutt Drafts. So Mutt Drafts is probably the easiest way to go about it because there's so many bums that's just running around waiting to get torched, okay? Like, they, they're actively waiting to get manhandled. Like, it's really, really wild. So you should definitely probably try to do that. If you, if you don't... A lot of you guys have been having issues like, yo, g Maya, what's up with these, um, you know, these uh, the head to head regular uh, Madden Ultimate Team games like the uh, the Mutt Seasons because dudes teams are like a, a thousand overall. You can take your chance. You know, I'm, I'm never going to tell you guys. You could do what you could do, whatever suits you, depending on your skill level. If you don't want to keep running into guys that, you know, one guy has 99 Jay-Z on this team, the other guy is doing whatever. If you don't want to keep doing that, that, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and do Mutt Drafts. But they're going to get you with the tickets. You know what I'm saying? They're going to get you with the tickets. You got to spend coins for the tickets. And some of you guys were asking about that. I'm going to actually go to the store and show you what I'm talking about as far as the tickets go. But that's how e you're not going to get over on EA. 
if you're one of those guys that think that you're going to get over on EA, something's wrong with you, bro. Like, you're not going to get over on them. So they're going to make sure that they get their cash somehow, some way. All right? So when you think about it with that aspect, make sure you understand that nothing is coming for free in this game. Even when you get, like, free cards, you have to earn that. You had to put in time. You had to do stuff that you generally might not think is worth monetary value, but it is. Because the more time you spend in the game, the more ads they can sell, the more you know they can show that people are utilizing the game and they can promote their company. So one way or another, you're helping EA out. It's not all. It's not just going one way. All right. So look, pretty much what happens is you see like how I'm in the Mutt store. You're gonna go all the way over to items, and then these event tickets right here, 45k for 15 tickets, 15k, you know, 9k. You might say to yourself like, you know, that's not a lot of coins. Um, you know, the 9k, whatever. It is a lot of coins for some of my viewers, and they don't really grind mutt like that. So this is just another way to be able to do that. Now, they have updated it, so if you win a certain amount of games, you get your tickets back. For some reason, they took that away to start the year. I don't know why they did that, but it makes no sense. But now you get your tickets back if you win a decent amount of games, all right? So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and um, you know close out the video. We're going to go with a video view goal of about 30K. But again, I hope I answered all your questions as far as boss battles go. I think that he's the best card. I'm going to find out everything I can about Martavis Bryant. But do not put Cam Newton in the set. You can't get him back, bro. Unless you're going to wait throughout. I don't know how long boss battles will be going. But if you can figure out a way to keep upgrading and get another Cam Newton. But I don't, I don't like any of the other 96 overall cards. So I'm going to stick with my 94. All right. Hope it's been informative and you enjoyed, uh, you know, you enjoyed the explanations for it. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.